Hey guys, how's it going? John here, KG7AJM. Figured I'd show you a project that I worked on over the weekend. This is not gonna be a tutorial by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, this is far too complex for me to try to video it and do it at the same time, at least for the first time. So anyways, let me show you my battery box that I made. All right, here it is in all its glory or lack thereof. This is my battery box. So let's go ahead and turn this on. So that's the master power switch right here. Let's go um, left to right. Um, so here we have our power poles. So this top one, the reason why I put a single in is because that's for input. That's for where my solar uh, panels will plug in. And so I recently got a new portable solar panel and maybe I'll do a, a little video on that later when I get it out portable. I haven't been able to use it portable yet, but um, then below, is our standard power pole output, so DC power right here. So use that to plug in the radio, etc. Any kind of DC uh, accessories that we want to plug into that, we can plug in there. So we've got this uh, multimeter. I've used this in the past. It's been great. I've got it on my uh, big solar array for my ham shack, and I can't complain. Um, next. I got this USB uh, port, and so you can turn this on. You just click that, and I saw this. Um, I've been watching a lot of battery box uh, tutorials and things that people have made on YouTube and K8 MRD radio stuff. He has a, a lot of battery boxes that he's created, and he uses this in some of those, and it looked like a pretty slick port to be able to put in here. So that's what I've been using is that. And he also had these same switches. So I took his idea and I added those as well. Um, but yeah, I got the box from Far Harbor Freight. Um, I'm using that 20 amp hour Miati battery that I purchased recently. So if you've seen some of my other videos um, and you know, warning here, this is a rat's nest. So it's not like this is super clean and well, maintained in here, so be forewarned. But you can see we've got that 20 amp hour battery there. And then we've got a separate fuse for the input here for the, uh, the top power pole, but everything else is going into that fuse block down below. And so I utilize that. It's got uh, different fuses for the different amperages of things that I need in here. Um, I've got two more slots open so I can use that if I want to add other things. Um, one of the things that uh, I've seen on a lot of other people's battery uh, box setups is lights. So I may add some LED lights on here as well. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me close this here. Um, the other thing I like about this is it's not super strong, but it's got this other top lid section here. And so I've been keeping other accessories and stuff like that in here. And so um, I also have this, I'll probably be hooking this up to my solar panel when I connect it. So it will tell me exactly how much input I'm getting into here. Um, and then I also have, this is a splitter. This is a uh, Anderson splitter. And so I can plug this in. So if I need more than two Anderson ports for whatever reason, I can utilize this to be able to plug in at least four more accessories. Um, but yeah, I'm just keeping other cables, you know, Anderson jumpers, stuff like that. But I'm looking forward to utilizing this very soon. I'm probably gonna go out this weekend and do some, some Portable stuff, maybe my first POTA activation. So we'll see if that uh, ends up working out. But yeah, so far so good. I've been really happy with this build. I've, I've tested it just a little bit around my house, but yeah, super excited about it. And I can put the links to the things that I purchased below in the description if you're interested. Um, I bought everything with the exception of the box, I think, all through Amazon. So. Anyways, um, I'll put the links below and uh, I hope you like it. Talk to you guys later.